vaccination is very, very interesting concept in terms of how we are going to further improve the care. So we have the many, many different mechanisms. So vaccination, it, it's a concept that developed for human to against um, different viral infection and things like that. that. That's what we did. We get we get our vaccination. But the problem is the vaccination, if you use the old definition of vaccination, it didn't work that well uh, in cancer because cancer is a heterogeneous disease. So billions of clones, how can you just design one thing to attack it? And virus is invariant. Virus just have only a few proteins. They don't change. That's why it's easy to develop vaccination. But for cancer, you want to develop the vaccine, it should be very, very specific. For the past 20 years, people have tried cancer vaccination, but it didn't work that well because they missed the point of the heterogeneity. They focus on only a few genes and only a few commonly expressed normal variant or normal copy in your body. So it's not going to work that well. So, so the vaccination, it's a long way to go, but there's a, there's a great promise in terms of how to develop vaccination. In my opinion, the, the, there are many, many ways of design personalized vaccine. And I think the vaccination should not be just one off the shelf for everybody. It should be designed for individual patients and to figure out what kind of mutation they have in their tumor and to figure out whether, how, whether they express or not. And then you can think about designing specific either peptide or RNA or DNA to represent these specific mutation and express into our immune system, either through you know, op in vitro culture on dendritic cells or just using a liposomal conjugated you know, different uh, uh, RNA or peptide and inject it. So I think vaccination is very, very important. Uh, the other treatment will be you know, further Im improvement of the um, uh, checkpoint inhibition, the immunotherapy, and not only just a checkpoint, it could be NK cell or many other things that, are, that should be involved. And on top of that, uh, you know, um, a new area of metabolic drugs are, you know, in, in, uh, we're taking uh, a, a look at the uh, a kidney cancer. So, so many things need to ha happen. There is a clinical rationale to proceed with other immunologic types of therapy, such as vaccine strategies in kidney cancer. In order for a vaccine to be appropriate in kidney cancer, we need to overcome the innate resistance that occurs in this disease. As we've seen with the efficacy of IO types of agents in this cancer, that can be overcome with some current strategies. It will be very interesting in the future as we try to find antigen dependent immune stimulators and try to launch them in kidney cancer to see if we can improve the efficacy. So I would imagine some type of an autologous tumor vaccine combined with some type of an immunostimulator such as an IO agent to be a path forward in a vaccine approach for this cancer. Vaccine-based strategies have been uh, investigated for the treatment of metastatic kidney cancer for some time now. And we have recently had updates for two pivotal trials in this space. Uh, the IMA901 multipeptide vaccine has been tested on a large phase three randomized trial in combination with sunitinib versus sunitinib alone. This is called the IMPRINT trial that was recently published by Brian Rinney and his colleagues in Lancet Oncology. This was a negative phase three study in the frontline space uh, as this new combination of vaccine plus TKI failed to show an improvement in overall survival over tyrosine kinase inhibitor therapy with sunitinib alone. There's a second important trial uh, that has been, has been ongoing for some time, the so-called ADAPT trial. This is now a dendritic cell autologous vaccine where patients uh, through leukapheresis actually collect uh, dendritic cells uh, and subsequently have their own tumor processed for an RNA-based vaccine of the dendritic cell ex vivo that are then being infused back into the patient. On a randomized phase three trial, the so-called ADAPT trial, this approach in combination with sunitinib uh, and GMCSF was compared to sunitinib alone in the first line setting. But there was a recent press release by the sponsor of the trial reporting that the external uh, data monitoring committee advised that the study uh, be um, put on hold uh, since their, uh, interme um, since their uh, intermittent data analysis. Start that sentence yeah. We recently had a press release from the study sponsor 
uh, telling us that uh, in an interim analysis, the external data monitoring committee has recommended this study no further be pursued uh, due to the fact that uh, their interim analysis suggests uh, that the primary endpoint of the study cannot be met, which would have been overall survival benefit for the vaccine-based approach compared to TKI alone.